in the world today, there are people who practice the religion in a different way. Local Christians don't like that and local Muslims hate that. But what I can tell you from personal experience in dealing with these people is that they're always willing to lie, steal, and cheat you and me out of our resources. That is a form of financial abuse. Yesterday, I went to buy some rice for my supper. And I needed the rice because I was making my own little box or bento box as we do so in Japanese, where we have a main protein, we have something else, and then we have some rice. Since I'm living outside and outdoors, I'm not making my own rice at this time. But the question I have is, where's my rice maker? Where are my things? These are the things that I've been asking the person who was supposed to be paying that bill. And openly, if she's decided not to pay that bill, then she owes me a major explanation because her job on behalf of my late mother's estate was to pay the bill. But every time I get close to a job, they monkeyed the opportunities for me to get the job. And I know people don't think so. They want to lie to themselves about what they were able to accomplish. But a financial abuser does that. In an intimate relationship, a financial abuser is notorious for expecting his wife to perform in some way intimately and then he'll provide her some money that is an immoral act that is not love that is a sexual attack at the same time we have siblings who want to pretend as if they own someone's money they don't and this is where they're getting into trouble under federal law is that they're supposed to provide a reading of the will with us all present that is something that has become a federal law in the last many years of life. It's true that my father lost a lawyer because of the improper behavior and the crazy attitudes of siblings, and that's been provable across the time. What we know about people is that they get greedy. The funny part is there's not a lot of money there because of the expenditures that was needed to take care of my mother after an alcoholic person tripped her and practically killed her. I don't like to say that, but that's what I'm hearing in the Lord's house. Now, is that true or is it not true? Or is it just something you like to play it and do? But the truth is they spent the money on a, hel a helper and a keeper when they could have allowed me to take care of and tend my mother. So this is something they're going to have to face under federal laws.